with Jazzy. Welcome back, guys, to another segment of Cooking with Jazzy, darling. I'm here, home, quarantine, social distancing, and I had a taste for, you know what, I didn't even know what I had a taste for. I'm honestly tired of cooking. But, uh, I got this inspiration to make this meal off of the back of a seasoning box. And I'm going to show you exactly what I'm talking about. But tonight, I'm going to be making a quick Spanish-style beef stew. Sounds good? Sounds good. Come on, watch and see how to make it. And I hope you guys enjoy. We're doing it all. The feeling is so. Maybe you got me. Believe in the magic. We're doing it all. The feeling is so. Maybe you got me. Believe in the magic. We're doing it all. The feeling is so. Maybe you got me. Believe in the magic. Okay guys, so I have, my beef has been marinating in the fridge for about an hour and a half. I'm gonna show you guys what I seasoned it with. I used um, two packets of Sasson by, Go by Goya. My Goyo, uh, Goya adobo seasoning with pepper. My chili seasoning from Trader Joe's. Granulated garlic. Black pepper is what I seasoned it with. Okay, now I told you guys that I was gonna show you what I was inspired by to make this dish. I literally was like, I don't know what to do with this beef. And then I saw this picture of this amazing looking beef stew. And I said, voila, magic, I'm gonna make that. But I'm gonna make it my own way. So yeah, I was inspired by that picture. So I seasoned up, I took some beef strip. Um, this is beef sirloin, I cut it into strips. Instead of me using like big chunks of beef, I'm using strips of beef, okay? So, I'm gonna put my seasoning aside. You're going to need a onion, about four to five red potatoes, some carrots, if you have the baby carrots, that's fine. All I have right now is shredded carrots, so that's what I'm gonna be using. And some extra sweet mini corn on the cobs. And this is the most important essential thing that you need, is the Goya tomato sauce. Please only use the Goya tomato sauce for this, okay? Don't use any other kind, because this has special seasonings in it, which is going to make this Spanish-style beef stew taste like Spanish-style beef stew. Okay, so I'm just gonna slice up my onions and um, oh, also I'm gonna add some red, red, yellow, and green bell peppers as well. I'm gonna saute that. Okay guys, so I have my, my, my frozen peppers. These are, I bought these in a pack. These are red, yellow, and green bell peppers. I buy them frozen because when I run out of fresh, at least I have the frozen as a backup. I put it in without olive oil because it's frozen, I don't want all that olive oil splashing and popping me. So I'm gonna let that melt down some, or shall I say defrost some in the pan. Added my olive oil. Gonna add my chopped onions to the pan. Leave it on low. Okay, so I sweated down the peppers and the onions. The peppers are now nice and de not dehydrated, but defrosted. I'm going to add about a tablespoon of the garlic, a good heaping of the minced garlic. I like keeping that in my fridge as well. Because when you run out of fresh garlic, the minced garlic is pretty good. Stir that around. You always want to add the garlic last because the garlic cooks quick. And you don't want to burn your garlic. It's a nasty, bitter taste if it's burnt. So, now I'm going to take my nice and seasoned beef. 
and I'm going to add it to the pan. And I'm going to let it brown up for about 10 minutes, and then I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do next. Your mom said it and forget it. Okay, on to the next part. So, my steak has been actually, my steak, my beef, excuse me, has been cooking for about 15 minutes. It is getting nice and tender. See, I noticed that with the shrimps, they get um, tender quicker than the cube, if you was to cube like a London broil or something like that. So right now, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to add my four potatoes, my red potatoes, four or five if you have. I'm gonna add that to my pan. I, I quartered them. And now I'm going to also add my Goya tomato sauce. Two of the cans. I'm gonna let it cook for another 10 minutes. I am also steaming a pot of white rice for the sides. The girls love rice, so I figured I'd make a little rice you can have the stew with. You don't have to make rice. You can eat this by itself because it has potatoes in it. I usually don't like having two starches for dinner, but hey, wanna make a little, I made a small little pot of white rice with it. Okay, so the beef, potatoes, onions, and peppers, and garlic is all simmering. It is time for me to add, first I'm gonna add the carrots. I'm gonna stir that in. Remember, you can use baby carrots. You can take carrots and chop it up. All I had was shredded carrots. So, you make things work with what you have. So I'm gonna stir in the carrots. Next, I'm going to add my corn to the stew. I have six ears of corn I'm going to add in. And remember, this is the super sweet corn, frozen corn. I'm gonna let it toss in the side of the sauce. I'm gonna put the lid on and I'm gonna let this simmer on low for about another 15 to 20 minutes so that the corn is fully cooked through. The potatoes are soft, they're already starting to get, I can tell, soft, but I'm gonna let it simmer on a medium to low heat. Rice is just about done. Forgot to mention that I do add one extra packet of the sasson to the sauce. And the potatoes and the corn. Just to give it a nice extra flavor.
Okay guys, so I just stuck my potatoes with a fork. They are nice and um, what's the word I'm looking for? Tender, soft? Yeah, soft. <laughs> They're nice and soft. The corn is no longer frozen. It is cooked all the way through. How do I know that? Because I know. <laughs> no, because when you leave it in for at least, I mean, it's been cooking for the past 20 minutes. I'm sure that corn is nice and boiled by then. I'm just going to top it off with some fresh cracked black pepper on top. And voila, magic. My Spanish style quick. It took about all together about an hour to make because you want to make sure that your, your meat is tender. Nobody wants tough meat. So it took me about an hour to make this and it smells amazing. It smells really good. And I'm proud of this little meal I literally just made up from looking at a picture. <laughs> I hope that you guys try it out yourself and add any whatever ingredients you want to add. If you want to add the corn, don't add the corn. You want to add potatoes, don't add potatoes. You add whatever makes you happy to your beef stew. Okay? All right, guys. Well, I hope that you enjoy watching me cook this uh, Spanish-style beef stew that I made up on the fly <laughs> and I hope that you guys try it out yourself if not I hope that you at least enjoyed watching it and imagining yourself eating it <laughs> and until the next cooking vlog and until the next vlog uh, continue to live a rich and jazzy life bye <laughs>